Israel this morning resumed airstrikes against Hamas in Gaza after a seven-day truce collapsed overnight. Many of the strikes focused on southern Gaza, around Han Yunus. Health officials in Gaza say dozens of Palestinians were killed. Israel blamed Hamas for breaking the truce by launching rockets into Israel and failing to free at least 10 hostages a day. The truce broke down as the New York Times released a bombshell report overnight that Israeli officials were warned Hamas was planning a mass assault, breaking through border fences and using paragliders, but dismissed it as aspirational and beyond Hamas's capabilities. The Times reporting it's unclear if Prime Minister Netanyahu or other senior leaders saw the report, codenamed Jericho Wall. Netanyahu has denied he was warned of the October 7th attack. NBC News has not seen the report. The Israeli military responded saying its focus now is on the war and it will investigate later. The fighting is resuming as hostages are still inside Gaza. Mia Shem was one of the last hostages to get out. Her mother first got word she was free by phone. Then came the family reunion. 55 days in the making. There's now disappointment and anguish from Israeli families whose hopes had started to rise that their relatives would be coming out too. Carmel Gott is a 39-year-old occupational therapist who was visiting relatives at a kibbutz near Gaza and was kidnapped along with her sister-in-law, Yarden. Yarden was released on Wednesday and reunited with her daughter and husband. Carmel's cousin this morning described his frustration and fears. It feels like it was a grand plan for Hamas to keep some of the women and the men there so they could be kind of a human shield for Hamas. And we are very, very stressful that they're going to use them and even hurt them as a way of showing that the violence hurts the abductees. So, Richard, given all of that, what's the likelihood of another possible truce? It is possible because both sides are expressing a willingness to continue the, 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 the ceasefire in principle. Israel still obviously wants the hostages out, and Hamas says it is willing to release hostages, but after all night negotiations, the terms of those hostage releases couldn't be agreed upon. Israel says that Hamas was delaying, it was stalling. Hamas says it was offering to release the bodies of some uh, hostages it says were killed previously by Israeli airstrikes and some old men that Israel rejected that. So they are not uh, uh, disagreeing over the concept that they need to still exchange hostage for, uh, hostages for prisoners. They, it broke down over how that is supposed to happen. So it is possible that this ceasefire could resume, but uh, now the bombs are falling, the aid has stopped flowing. It is certainly a setback. It is indeed. All right, Richard Engel for us there in Tel Aviv. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.